Hi everyone, this is CVGS. I'm Demster. With me here is Ram. Hey! For some reason, every time we have a new set coming out for the reboot series, Ram is always here. I wonder why. Mm, I support the V series. Oh, so you're implying that we're not lah? Uh, hmm, I'm not so sure about that. Never mind, I'll settle with you later on this one. Uh, but for now, <laughs> we're going to be talking about the latest set that uh, has just recently released. This is VEB01, the first extra booster for the reboot. So, its name is the Destructive Raw, is in English, so I don't oh. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about the, the, the Japanese uh, version, but uh, okay, what does this boost mainly? Takikaze, mm -hmm. Spike Brothers, mm -hmm. and Mega Colony. Yes, this three. So at the front, as you can see here, uh, these are the Ace Vanguards for each of the respective clans. I can't remember what the name is. If we do get them, we will talk about them. I know two of them. One of two, one of them is General Siegfried, and the other one is Machining Sparkling Beetle or something along those lines. But wait, I know wait, it's a machine. Wait, wait, wait! My mind got stuck at a Siegfried. I, are you serious? It's a Siegfried? No, it's not Siegfried. It's Siegfried. <laughs> or Siegfried. Oh. Without the G. Without the G. Siegfried. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. That's interesting. Okay, so the front uh, is the base Vanguard. At the side, we have the Vanguard Rares, uh, the, the origin, the origin Vanguards, right? Yes. Ma uh, Maximum Juggernaut, Death Rex, and Machining Stack Beetle. Stack Beetle. Yes. And then uh, at the side, well, there really isn't much. Uh, there are twelve packs in this box in total. Uh, seven cards in each pack, with two of them being a rare or higher. At the back is the the, the barcode. Not much to talk about it. And then at the at the very front. That's about it, there's really nothing much to say except the aesthetic wise, it has seen a dip in quality um, as the recent Venga boost. I sincerely hope that the, the saved money can go for a greater cost, but for now, let's just open this up and see what we get inside. Alright, so opening the box, the, do the box topper that we get is, uh, is a bunch of markers, imaginary gift markers, uh, Excel. Force and protect, uh, and you get a chance of getting uh, a marker with the respective clans and vanguard in there as well. Uh, so, you know what? Let's just open this up and see what we get. The first one we got here this is Force, nothing much. And Axel, nothing much. Nothing but much. for protect, we have the one for machining. Um, what was that? Sparking Beetle or something like that, right? Yeah, somewhere along those lines. Yeah, uh, it looks cool. But since you're gonna drop it in your hand, I figure there's not much of a use anyway. And <laughs> we have one point. So one well, point. Not, what can we exchange with this? Probably a, a pack of sleeves or something. Something. I don't remember. But the main event, the total of 12 packs, it feels very thick. So um, thick. <laughs> yes, very thick. <laughs> so, so let's not waste time. We're gonna take six packs each. Uh, of course. We can take the top half. This is five. Uh, we'll see what how many rarities we get in this set. So let's go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I got two rares. <laughs> <laughs> two rares. What a great way to start the video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got a. F oh. 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 Wow. Okay, I got a. I got a Venga rare. Zai free. Uh, it's Zyfree, not Seafree or Sixty. Uh, I can't pronounce. It's fine. <laughs> Damn, but nice. I got that. What do you have? Uh, I just got Machining. Oh, is that a... Oh, that's a triple rare! Yeah. We got a Machining Mantis. Hey, that's quite amazing, man. Machining Mantis. can't beat the Venga, really. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, the next one I got... Oh, I got a double rare. This is... Uh, Unite Attacker. Spike Brothers. Woo. I got double rare from Patrick Kaze. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And second last. Ah, second. double rare. I got Chigo Marilyn. She's back as a draw trigger and a PG. Chigo Marilyn. Damn, it's been a while since I saw her. Oh, I got. Hey, where's, where's Adelaide? <laughs> <laughs> I just remember where is Adelaide? Why is she not back? She. The huge trigger that came back for, for Spike Brothers is Chirgo Kiara instead. Where's Adelaide? We need Adelaide now. <laughs> we, we gotta get Ben to see this video. Yeah. <laughs> I got a triple rare for oh. Tachikaze. Oh, Mega Death Rex. Yeah. Is it an Asian Dragon? I don't think so. Oh no, it's not. It's a... Uh... <laughs> it literally translates to Hungry Dragon Mega Rex. <laughs> I don't think that's it. Yeah. Okay, last pack. Last. Machining Hornet. Yeah. Machining Hornet. Right here. Nice. 
Well, so then you won the rarity game. Yay, wait, why are you opening all over there? It's like, wait, isn't that a double rare? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> double rare goes here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's go through some of the cards that we got and we will see you in a bit. Alright, so we've opened this whole box as you have seen earlier and these are the double rares and above that we have gotten. We are very happy to unlock one of the VRs over here, uh, which is a very interesting thing because apparently the, the, rate, the, the spread is that every single box has one guaranteed VR, right? Yes. Okay, so the more boxes you buy, the higher chances of getting one full playset. Um, well, which on that note, uh, usually we buy two boxes for EBs, but because this is, uh, okay, let, let, let's be real, we are running out of money, so we can only afford one, uh, but it's fine because uh, our main focus here is not to get as many as we want, but just to give you an idea of what you expect in this whole set. So, starting from the very first one that we go, we'll go down the order. The first one we got is the Vanguard Rare for Spy Brothers, General Zyfried. This is the card that Ram got me confused. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so his skill is an X skill on a Vanguard Circle by counterblasting one and moving one rearguard to the soul. Oh, sorry, search your deck for up to one of the same card that you sent to the soul. Call it the rearguard circle during a turn, that unit and this unit get past 10k and shuffle your deck. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the second skill is an auto skill on a Vanguard Circle when the attack hits by soul blasting two, stand one of your rearguards and choose one opponent's rearguard and retire it. So blast. Yes, yeah, so blast. As you all know, Spike Brothers is very known for shoving things into their soul. <laughs> but not really having much uh, utili utility for their souls, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is a good way to, to use it. But I'm not too sure how long that will last. We shall, we shall see when we actually get to see the Spike Brothers in action. Alright, the next card that we have here, this is from Tachikaze. What is it, Ram? Ram is... This card is Ravenous Dragon Mega Rex. Oh. So the ability of this card is that auto. Vanguard mm -hmm. Circle and Vanguard Circle. When this card attacks the Vanguard, you can retire one of your other Vanguards and you mm -hmm. draw one card. Oh. Then if this unit is on the Vanguard Circle, you can Cannon Blast one. Put the top card of your deck as an equip gauge into this unit face down and it gets 5k until the end of the battle for each uh, for each card in this unit's equip gauge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Plus 5k, right? Yeah, plus 5k yeah. for each card. Okay, one more thing that we haven't mentioned yet is that there is a new mechanic for Tachikaze which is called Equip Gauge or in Japanese it's called Buso Gauge. I personally will translate to Armament Gauge because it sounds cooler but whatever. <laughs> Never mind Bushiro, you, 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 you don't care anyway. No, just uh, but in any case, uh, it's a new mechanic whereby it's like a Soul Charge but for all units, uh, especially for rearguards as well, uh, but in phase down instead, right? Yes, face down. Yeah. So basically, it can be used either as a power up or does it is it used as a cost for certain things as well? Yes. But again, we shall see how it works when we actually get to see the deck in action. All right. The next card that we have is from Mega Colony. I like how the order goes very well like that. <laughs> this is the next triple heart, uh, triple heart that we got, and this is Machining Mantis. So it's skill Vanguard Regard Circle when placed by by counter blasting one. Uh, look at the top six cards of your deck. Uh, add one of add one grid uh, up to one grid tree into your hand after you before uh, after revealing it. Then shuffle your deck during that turn. This unit gets plus six k. Well, it's actually very uh, normal, very very generic sounding skill. Uh, but for deck like Mega Colony, I would say the grid trees are very important. So the search engine is actually pretty good. Yes. Right. Yes. Six cards are not a funny thing. Six cards, man. Yeah, six cards. Where have I heard that before? In, in before that, all six cards are all what you need and you need to pick wisely. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you play Mega Colony, you think more. <laughs> Alright, the next card that we have, this is... This card is Sonic Noah. Wait, wait, wait. Sonic Noah. Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog and Hoshizaki Noah. You gotta go fast, no, guys. Gotta try fast. <laughs> Alright, so what's this skill? <laughs> so, for Rearguard Circle, when it boosts the Rearguard, mm -hmm. put the top card of your deck as an equip gauge into the boosted unit face down. Ooh. So, for the second skill, Vanguard Circle and Rearguard Circle, when an attack hits a Vanguard and it attacked or boosted, mm -hmm. you can retire one of your other Rearguards and draw one card. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty okay actually. Sounds like a, a no, quite a quite a good card, just that there's no power boost. La. No power boost, but yeah. it's draw engine. Mm -hmm. And it has an additional, it has that, it's an on need threat la, Yeah Which I'm pretty sure your opponent will never let you draw Unless they really no choice Yeah <laughs> It also helps with Tachikaze as an equip gauge enabler 
considering that this booster doesn't like support too much cards that X to help with the equip gauge. Mm, yeah, that's true. Alright, the next card that we have this is from Sprite Brothers. Uh, this is another good tree. Uh, and his name is Unite Attacker. So X skill, Vanguard Circle once per turn. Piso Blasting 7. Oh. Look at the top 5 cards of your deck, call out to 5 to Rearguard Circles, then send the rest to the bottom deck in any order. During that turn, 3 of your units in the front row get plus 5k. Wow, okay, this is one of those uh, alternative finishes, like say things like. Uh, uh, it's a Soul Saver wannabe. Yeah, so, Soul Saver <laughs> wannabe, uh, or Victorious Deer wannabe. Soul Blast 7, so you know you can definitely cannot use it in the early game. But again, Soul Blast 7. For this kind of skill is actually not bad, uh, but it helps you fill up your your ranks uh, in case you're fighting against things that retire your that your your feel faster than you can ever call them out. So it's a good trade off, I think. Just that plus three k in the front row is like, eh? what? <laughs> what? It's it's five k. It's five k. Ah, five k. Sorry. Yeah, three units in the front row. Yeah, plus five k. Yeah. So it's like, oh, okay, mm. okay. <laughs> Alright, the next card uh, is the reason why Ram wants me to go first because uh, this is. <laughs> What's this? This cheer called Adelaide. I mean, uh, right. Marilyn. <laughs> right, cheer called Marilyn. The reason why Ram wanted me to go first so I can avoid this. Thank yes, you very much. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. So, so this card she... ability it has a sentinel. You can only have to up to four cards with sentinel in the deck. Mm -hmm. Then the second part is auto guardian circle when placed. Discard a card from your hand, and the, and one of your units cannot be hit until the end of that battle. Mm, the generic uh, draw trigger PG lah. Yes. So it's nice to see that they are doing all this for their for the for the Cleanse that's coming out. Uh, Card flavors in English though. Yeah, the, the flavor text <laughs> just says keep your smile, go for it. Yeah. I don't know what the English one would say. <laughs> keep your smiley face, go for that. <laughs> <laughs> Do not want! <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, the last card that we have here, this is Explosive Hornet. Sorry, um, Machining Hornet. Hey, 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 Mega Man X fans, you guys. Alright, <laughs> okay, Machining Hornet. Vanguard and Rearguard Circle, uh, auto skill. When when the attack that this unit boosted hits the Vanguard, boosted by this unit, attacks the Vanguard, look at the top six cards of your deck. Uh, and add up to one grade three from among them to your hand after revealing it. Uh, if you add one card to your hand, then. Uh, oh, for, no, sorry. If you add a card to your hand, or if this unit is in a regard circle, move this unit to your soul. Uh, don't forget that this card effect also applies when it attacks or boosts. Oh, attacks or boosts, right? Yeah, attack or boost. Ah, right, my bad. Okay. Yeah. See, this is the problem with the sentence structure nowadays. It's so, so confusing. <laughs> but again, for AK, uh, attacking is actually not bad. It gives it an extra reason to be in the front row, rather than having the... the uh, the ideal setup of great tools in front, great ones behind. Yes. So this one, okay lah, you get an extra uh, chance to attack, but it's actually quite okay. But the problem is, you, st you still gotta hit first, right? You still gotta hit first. Yeah, you gotta hit. So if it doesn't hit, you can't use the rest of the skill, which makes this moot, and you lose one interceptor. So uh, it depends on re whether you really want to use it or not. But still good skill, nonetheless. Yeah, it searches your great tree for yeah. mecha calling. Mm -hmm. So, we've always said, uh, I'm pretty sure Ram has something prepared for us already, right? Mm, do I? Do you? I'm actually not sure, but we might just find out in the future. Uh, so, if you want to see what Ram has prepared for us and what I'm going to get myself into, do subscribe to us on, uh, on this channel for more CGS stuff and ring the bell so you can get notified of all of our updates. At the same time, follow us on Discord, uh, join, join us on our socials, and sorry, follow us on the socials, join us on Discord, and support us on Patreon if you want to support the show directly. And last but not least, uh, Ram, I how are you gonna kill me? <laughs> I don't know. Never mind. But I, oh yeah, no, I should be dealing with you because you gave me this weird order that, that somehow skipped Marilyn. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> But first of all, we gotta. Uh, we most importantly, we gotta find out where the heck is Adelaide. So uh, with that said, we're gonna find Adelaide right now for Ben. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Okay, Adelaide, where are you? I'm gonna find her right now. Come back. Uh, I think she's outside. <laughs> Adelaide, where are you?